broke, don't fix it. If something works, don't stop doing it. If the kids love extreme skateboard games, they'll love not as extreme or exciting BMX games, right? That had to have been Acclaim's logic when they put out Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX. After all, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater was blowing up and they wanted their own money printer. Instead of challenging the old Birdman, Acclaim picked up another extreme sport, BMX, and its golden boy, Dave Mira. Freestyle BMX used the same sort of level objectives that Tony Hawk introduced. Go destroy this, grind that, get a high score. But unlike Tony Hawk, there isn't anything memorable about the levels. I mean, if you knew where you were, it was nice to ride in Dave Mira's backyard or Camp Woodward. But where's your warehouse, Dave? Where's your school? Where's your mall? These generically named levels in Tony Hawk were way more memorable than anything you ever brought to the table. And I don't like to bitch, but what about specials? Special tricks give you something to work towards, so if I can throw down a double front flip whenever I want, it kind of loses its oomph, you know? Grinds and stalls also have a certain magnetism to them, like where if you're within three feet of a rail and hit triangle, you're probably going to cling to it. I mean, did I just have a defective bike going up? Because I'm pretty sure that's not how it worked. Okay, you know what? I do mean a bitch this time. I don't want to worry about pedaling by holding up on the D-pad. Just let me hold down one button, let me go fast. And wondering what the camera's gonna do this time I turn around, it gets old pretty quick. I mean, maybe it's just me, or maybe this game left a salty taste in my mouth, but BMX games just aren't that fun. Maybe that's why Tony Hawk kept going making money and Acclaim lost Dave Mira when they felt they had to resort to boobies to sell games with bikes in it. I could be wrong, but uh, I think I'm right.